Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining this Excel tutorial. This is the second tutorial. Uh, this one we're just going to create a basic spreadsheet. And in this case what I've done is I've pre-populated a uh, spreadsheet with uh, shoe orders here. So size 7 through size 12 and black shoes and then brown shoes here. And what I want to do is just show some basics about setting up a spreadsheet, how to put in formulas, you know, real basic formulas at this point, and how to um, you know create totals and copy formulas, things of that nature. So with with that said, if you click here on um, on column B, I put the list price of all the shoes here. On column C, I put in the discounts. This is a 10% discount, 5% discount, and so forth. Down here, you'll notice I increased the discount for size 11 and 12 brown shoes. Uh, you know because you're you're trying to unload inventory and you're willing to sell them at 20% off to the retailer that you're selling them to. So then over here on column D, this is the quantity that you're selling to the retailer. Okay, This column E is the net price each for each one. So how do we figure that out? You take the list price and you take the discount off the list price. So the easiest way to do that, there's a couple different ways you could do that. right? You could say equals all formulas start with the equal sign by the way equals b2 times times point ninety percent right and that would give you forty five dollars that's not really recommended what you did is you just took you you took the you took ten percent off of a hundred and made it ninety percent and the reason why you don't want to do that is there's different discount values here and you want to use as much automation as possible. So how we're going to do this is we're going to click up here in the formula bar here, hit the backspace and get rid of that, get rid of the um, 90%. So what we're going to do, we're going to say equals B2, which is the list price um, cell over here, and we want to take that discount off. So how we do that is we put a parentheses and we say 1 minus the discount and we close parentheses. So now we get the same result but now we have a much more dynamic formula and the reason why we did that is now I can take this to highlight that cell bring my cursor down with the left mouse button when I get across there I haven't pressed any buttons yet on the mouse now I'm going to press the left mouse button and I'm just going to hold it pressed drag my cursor all the way down to the bottom where I want to copy that formula and then let go you see what it did? It copied that formula all the way down um, and now dynamically this automatically went to, went to row 3, row 4 and so forth. So that makes it much much simpler to copy and paste um, formulas. In this case now we want to get the total so that's really simple we just say equals the quantity times our discounted price and there it is so what we do here same thing if we want to copy that down we just copy it down the same way we did we wait till we get that we get that cross click and hold on with the left mouse button all the way down to the bottom and you'll get it highlighted like that and you will um, populate all those um, all those cells so now there's multiple ways to do that. I can click the undo button here. Now I could say I could right click this and say copy and then say paste. Right click and say paste, right click and say paste. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So I'm gonna hit escape and you notice that it goes off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna back those out. I didn't mean to do that. So I'm gonna hit redo here, put that there, I'm gonna hit escape, and now I'm gonna wait till I get my cur my cross there drag it down, let go of the mouse, and there we have it. Now the total for order, what we want to do in order to get a total, there's a couple things we can do. Right? We can hit insert and we could insert a um, we could insert a, um, a formula of some sort. Uh, actually I'm sorry it's under formulas. We can insert a, a formula however this is a pretty easy one. So what we're going to do, we're going to say equals sum and you notice when you start typing you'll get all the pop-ups and what we're going to do is we're going to choose sum 
and then we open the cursor and you notice it tells you what tells you how to put it in there in this case we just want to sum from F2 here we click and drag click and hold with the left mouse button drag down to the last cell that you want to include in your formula let go close the bracket close the parenthesis and you you're now you're summarizing from F2 to F13 hit return okay so eleven thousand seven hundred eighty five dollars so a couple of quick things I want to show you that you probably want to do the first one is that if you're going to present this to a customer you would want to clean this up a little bit so the first thing you would do is under discount you would probably rather than saying point one and point zero five you probably want to actually put it in a percentage format so there's a couple different ways to do that the easiest way is just to highlight those cells right click with your mouse button choose format cells and now you'll notice there's several options here in this box so we want to go down to percentage and by default this is put in two decimal places in this case we don't need two decimal places so we'll just hit that arrow or type in zero here click OK now it converts those to uh, actual percentage um, so it views as a percentage under net price we probably want to put that in a dollar format again highlight all the cells let go right click hit format cells this time we want to go under currency and we probably want to give it two decimal places and in this case we can decide whether we want this dollar symbol here or not in this case we'll go ahead and get rid of it you click here and there's a drop down and you can say none okay this first cell right here you might want to put a first thing we will probably want to do is put this as a currency value nine hundred dollars with the dollar symbol and then we probably want to put these as currency maybe without the dollar symbol so we're going to do the same thing and we go into currency and we're going to go ahead and get rid of the symbol this time and then down here we're going to go ahead and highlight this cell, format that cell, put it in currency two decimal places and leave the dollar symbol okay so then we're going to say okay and there you have a total fairly clean quick looking spreadsheet obviously you would want to clean this up a lot more but I just want to show you briefly how to set this up a few last things I want to show you is you'll notice over here the cell isn't large enough for these for a few of the um, uh, titles so you can change the column with a couple of different ways one way is to click move your mouse up top here click anywhere move your mouse up top here you see when you get the cross symbol click I'm not I'm not holding down any mouse button now by the way I get the cross symbol I click and hold on my left mouse button and I just drag it out you see now it's big enough but there's multiple ways to do that another way to do it is highlight the column with the left mouse button let go of the left mouse button right click and say column width and you can type in a number 15 for example okay another thing you can do is click under under let's see where was that under home click under cells and click format and say column width and say auto fit column width and it'll do it for you automatically okay and the last thing that I want to show you is now you've made a table what you can do is under insert you can click I'm sorry now that you made a spreadsheet under insert you can say insert table and you can say insert that whole that block by default will come up and you say my table has headers which is basically the titles say OK and you'll notice over here you get all these drop down filters so for example if you only want to see size 12 brown shoes you uncheck select all go down here to size 12 brown shoes wherever it's at right here say OK and it filters them out okay a couple quick things I want to show you there and you can do that for anything show me the you know show me all the shoes that are $45 right and you can see these are all your shoes for $45 all 
All right, thanks so much for joining, and I will be posting more tutorials, so look for them. Thanks, bye.